What's up guys? Corey here with Golden Press Studio. We're back in the studio. It makes sense. And uh, today I have these really sick brushes. They're traditional tattoo flowers. And I'm going to jump into Procreate and I'm going to show you how they work, how to use them for your designs. And uh, let's freaking do it. It's going to be super sick. What's up guys? So like I said, I got these sweet flower tattoo brushes. Um, I made these recently and really just kind of made them out of uh, a need to say, hey, I want to have easy access flower brushes. A lot of you guys, um, you know, want to draw traditional tattoo roses or flowers. And, um, you know, these brushes are just going to be really helpful for you to be able to do that. And so we're going to be jumping into Procreate and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use them, and it's very simple, and just kind of what this pack offers. So hopefully you're into it. Hopefully it's pretty cool, and I guess might as well just jump into Procreate. We can check it all out. Here we are in Procreate, and uh, I just want to give you a quick overview of what these brushes offer and entail. So we can just go up, hit that good old brush thing, and uh, you know, here it is. It's this guy right here, the Flower Tattoo Pack. And I really tried to chalk this thing full with a ton of elements. So we actually have uh, 20 different leaves to work with. So when you're making your flowers, you, you know, want to add some leaves. Uh, we also have four different types of stems that could work really good with these roses. Uh, we got four just kind of standard, regular, traditional flowers um, that, you know, you would just add as like, I don't know, little accent pieces to your designs. Uh, we have this cool peony, we got some mandalas, and then uh, we have 12 different traditional tattoo roses. And uh, so let me just show you just a few of these guys. So I'm just gonna click on this one, and literally this is how simple it is. I just chose that brush, and I'm just gonna tap on my screen. And let's actually, I can change the size of that, make it bigger, um, you know, make it real big. Uh, and literally that's all it takes. Just tapped it, now we have a rose. They're almost like these little stickers that we can just drop in. And so we got that cool rose. I'm just gonna choose a few different other ones just to show, show you what, what they look like, you know. And uh, they're fairly crisp and sharp looking lines uh, that are just gonna look pretty good. Uh, the, the canvas that I'm working with right now is uh, just a large canvas. It's kind of the standard one if you've seen any of my other videos. Uh, but I say if you have a canvas around like 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels, that's probably gonna be fine. Um, you know, I, I recommend always when you're working in Procreate to work with a very large canvas size um, just because you're gonna get maximum resolution out of that. And uh, then, uh, you know, when you're using it for other things like screen printing your artwork, uh, you're just gonna be in a better situation because you have higher resolution. We have some of these kind of straight, simple roses. These, a couple of these roses might be a little more like ripply and a little more realistic, um, have kind of natural feel to them versus uh, maybe something like this one uh, that might be a bit more stylized. You know, we also have uh, these kind of mandalas and these ones are super fun. They're actually really fun to make within Procreate. Um, using uh, some of the symmetry tools and that kind of thing. But as you can see, we've got this cool mandala and still try to kind of based around these flower type of feel and designs. Um, and all of this, uh, kind of like I mentioned, is inspired by traditional tattoos. Um, you know, we have, whoa, kind of double tap that guy, but we have this cool looking peony, um, which is just a fun kind of elaborate flower um, that just looks really great. You can use that for a lot of different types of designs. And then, like I was mentioning earlier, just some of these regular standard types of, uh, you know, just kind of standard regular flowers uh, that are just good for little accents within uh, your artwork that you're creating. Uh, again, we also have these stems and these guys are, are really cool. Uh, a few different kinds of those. And then, like I was saying, we also have a bunch of different leaf options, uh, which are really cool. And so, you know, we got this guy, I'm just gonna kind of choose a few random ones and just a few different uh, variations and styles of leaves. That's really what this is about, is giving you resources to quickly and simply create uh, 
just cool designs um, with not a lot of effort uh, that, that look good. So when you're making stuff for clients, you can make it as quickly as possible. Now I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on how to really put these elements together and to create a unique piece of artwork for yourself. It's very, very simple, just a couple steps. Uh, and so first thing, I'm going to choose a rose. And so let's scroll down to our rose section. And I think I'm gonna choose this rose, uh, maybe number 11. And all you gotta do, tap it right there on your screen. There it is, you got yourself a rose. And you can uh, hit the little, little selection tool and position it however you need it to be. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer right up here with your little plus sign. And I'm gonna go and choose some leaves uh, to incorporate in this rose. So let's swing on up to my leaf section, looking through these guys, and I think I'm gonna use this leaf uh, 20. And I'm on my new layer, and I can just tap this leaf, that's a little small, I can just change the size up here. Tap, that one might be a little big, not too big of a deal, I'm just gonna click on the selection and I'm gonna scale it down that way as well. And I'm just gonna place this leaf kinda however I feel, and I'm letting it overlap in this section and I'm gonna just click on my eraser and uh, actually kind of incorporate a brush, um, like a liner brush in this pack so you're able to kind of finesse and mess with your artwork. And so I'm just gonna grab that eraser. I'm gonna just zoom in here and just erase the area that is kind of overlapping and sticking out into this flower. And there you go, you got a leaf right kind of nestled in in that flower. I'm gonna throw um, another one, so just make another layer and uh, snag that leaf, maybe scale it down, maybe make this one a bit smaller and just have it sticking out kind of like that and erase it away. There we go, that's looking pretty good. And you know, if we, and also you got these guys floating around now, you can just do a little pinch and now they're merged into this, this main flower layer. Uh, you know, we can also go and grab a stem if we'd like. Let's use stem number two. Yeah, I think I dig that. And actually I forgot to put it on a new layer, so new layer, got my stem, just place it there, scale it a little bit, and just kind of place this just however I feel is best for this design, maybe like right there. And like we've done before, I'm just gonna erase uh, some of the area that I don't want to show up on this. And then I'm actually gonna jump over to my flower layer and erase this area, because I want this leaf to look like it's sticking uh, kind of over top of uh, that leaf, or that, that petal on the flower. And then let's throw in a couple more leaves uh, just for the sake of it. I don't think that looks bad, man. I think that's pretty sick. Uh, and so we got our rose and kind of flower. We could even uh, we can merge those guys together. Maybe rotate this, however. Maybe, maybe something more like straight up and down like that. And just literally created this whole rose design. I always like to customize my artwork and make it unique to myself and, and add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of texture to it. And that's why I actually included, like I was mentioning, uh, this extra liner brush. And so it's this smooth liner brush right at the top. And uh, now we can jump into our design and add some little extra details to it um, that just make it a little more unique and stylized. Uh, just so we're not just, you know, throwing stickers on there and making it look the same as everyone else's design. Yeah, man, and so I'm literally, I'm just going in and just kind of drawing just some little lines that are just gonna add to this design. Actually, I'm gonna redo probably all that and just up my line weight, just cause I want it to match. Yeah, I feel like that's better. I want it to match um, just the same weight as, as this design. Another thing that's really simple to do with these brushes is colorize your artwork. And so, uh, you know, we got everything on one layer over here and you can just go and select this and go down to reference and then uh, make another layer and we can just go and choose some colors. Uh, I got some colors over here that might work good. 
And all you gotta do, drag, drop it right in there on your reference layer. And uh, it's just putting it on a layer above. It's an easy way to color your artwork and it's kind of non-destructive. You're doing it on a separate layer. So if you don't like something, you're, you're easily able to go and you know change it, finesse it. All you gotta do, just drag and drop, super simple. So now we kind of colored our, our rows very simply. Um, something I've noticed with the reference tool, if you zoom in, it kind of gives you this weird uh, jaggedy edge while you're doing your reference. And so after you've done it all, all you have to do, grab this layer up here, pull it down and drop it underneath. And uh, then it just puts that underneath your black line layer and it kind of smooths out those edges so they're not jaggedy and rough. Um, but yeah, I mean, literally just put together this little flower. We could add our other details to it as well. We're right on. We just made a little flower design with literally no effort whatsoever. Just a couple taps, a couple erases, and it's just super simple. I just wanna show you one more thing before uh, we wrap this thing up, and that is just how you can utilize these flowers, um, and not only as standalone designs like this, but also as uh, elements that will just save you time. And so I just wanna show you guys a couple designs that I did recently. And so this one right here is one I did the other day, and I got these roses from my brush pack. I just stamped them in there, and boom, just sped up my workflow uh, so I didn't have to stop and you know draw a rose or whatever. We have 12 different roses, a bunch of different flowers to work with, um, and that are just easy and quick to keep your design kind of work flowing. Here's another one that I was doing just the other day where both of these roses I used for uh, this design were from the brush pack. You can see that like I have like a different stylized brush that I'm using on these. And so really what I did, I chose a random flower and maybe this one. And I just placed it there, maybe with like a red brush or something. And then went to a new layer, dropped the opacity on uh, you know this other one that I'm working with. I chose a black color and then went and let's just choose, uh, yeah, let's choose this dry ink from the tattoo stipple brush pack. And so you can see this one has a bit texture to this brush. And all I did was, you know, clicked it out and then I just went, you know, choose my little size. And I just went in and just kind of traced it, which is this is also gonna add uh, to just the originality of your artwork that you guys can use these as templates basically for your artwork um, to give it a little more originality and uniqueness to it. There we go. We have this other rose and now it has a bit more stylized texture. Um, you know, this one has a bit of like thick, thicks and thins. I feel like I struggle always saying that. I never can say that. Thicks and thins. Uh, that's what this design has now uh, compared to just more of this solid type of rose. Um, there you go, man. This is, you know, I'm not teaching you guys anything super insane, but just showing you, hey, these are helpful brushes. If they can speed up your workflow, I think you should check them out. There'll be a link in the description for these bad boys, and I think they're pretty sick. What, what's more to tell them? What's more to say? Hopefully, uh, maybe you picked up a slight tip in this video, I don't know. Hopefully it was just interesting. Maybe it's just entertaining, who knows? Maybe you can drop a comment. Hey, that's a good idea. You should drop a comment and tell me if you liked this video. Maybe if you liked it, drop a like. And uh, without any further in a doing, we'll see you there. We'll see you in the air. We'll see you on Golden Press's website while you're picking up these brushes, baby. Thank you. If you do, you're amazing. We love you. And we'll arf on you later, little doggies. Arf? And we're going in five, four, three. <laughs> Killed that intro. Yeah. Crushed it. I'm, not, I'm impressed. <laughs> you're getting a coffee. A refreshing coffee, though. But I don't like coffee. Don't like coffee. Yeah. Uh, the fruity drinks. Yeah, I, I like mango. Yeah, mango mango smoothie or something, you know? Here we are in Procreate. You guys, uh, you know, if you're familiar with Procreate, this is it. It's pretty similar to uh, Procreate. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I'm gonna maybe try that one again. Let's do it. So, you know, click the link in the description below. Uh, arf. <laughs> <laughs>